Hello Taurus, thank you for joining me. I just wanted to give you a little treat and give you a sneaky peek at what could be happening for you in October 2022. So I've got a few decks on the go. I intend to use the Mermaid deck to just give you an overall energy, a little bit of advice. And then I'm going to use the Lightseer's Tarot to give me more detail about what's coming for you in October. And if necessary, I've got the Rider Weight deck to clarify. So we'll keep hold of, I don't know which one was it, which was the bottom of the deck. That was the bottom of the deck. <laughs> I had to think then. Wow. Okay, so we might not use those, but I have actually shuffled off camera for you. Uh, I just want to shuffle a little bit more so you know that I'm not just selecting cards I want to read. Okay, oh, very nice. Can you see that? It's the alchemy card. I'll show you the picture. The alchemy card from the mermaid deck. So it says, you have the Midas touch right now and every project you touch turns to gold. We've also got the Knight of Wands. So that's a really exciting card, especially because it's in the overall position. And then this gives me more of an insight into what's going on for you in October. Okay, so let's start then. Whatever you're looking at, I want you to realise you've got this golden touch. You're going to be successful. As long as you're actually doing something that lights your fire and floats your boat. Because the Knight of Wands is a very exciting energy. He brings in a lot of passion and a lot of fire and he's a lot of fun so as long as this project makes you feel like that you're on a winner and i know you're on a winner anyway because i can see these cards the judgment card tells me you're about to move into a new energy in october and you're probably having help from the angels and source god uh, can you see i don't know if you can see can you see how she's working with her higher self there? She's meditating and working with the angels. And the judgment card always shows me that the angels are moving you on to something better anyway. And so if necessary, even if it's just to have a boost of confidence, meditate with the angels and see what they've got to say and how they can help you, any advice and guidance. But to be quite honest with the six of wands, you're already victorious. Can you see she's even got an audience? They've all come to see her. Now, she follows the five of wands. And if you can see, she's got this victory wreath. She's the winner. She is victorious. So whatever your endeavours or your projects are in October, they're very, very exciting. All you need to do, really, the advice, I think, is have some strength. The strength card shows me someone who with patience i've got my face on the lamb's face sorry my finger on the lamb's face the strength card is all about having patience taking things in their own time allowing things to unfold gently gently catchy monkey <laughs> is a phrase that comes to mind let's just get some clarification on the strength card do we want the strength card or do we want to know more about that on night of wands just asking the angels sorry that's because I can't make up my mind. The cards have gone crazy. Hang on. Right. So it all looks positive because I just saw the star flash. The stars are very uh, lucky cards to see while I'm shuffling. Sorry, I'm channeling Kin to find out more about this strength card. Tell me something else about the strength card because everything else is so positive. What is it about the strength card? Ah, okay, so we need patience. That's all we need. We need patience because things may not seem to be falling into place as quickly as you'd like. There's a card, this is a card of waiting. He sees he's ready to go. He's just waiting for those ships to come in. And when they come, he's ready. He's off. And so I think that's it. I think that's what this strength card is all about. It's about being patient, knowing that you're waiting for divine timing and not to get, I've just had a peep at the bottom of the deck, you've got the five of pentacles. So don't be focused. At any time there's a delay, don't be thinking, oh, it's all gone wrong, it's all um, crazy or I need to abandon this or getting into that lack mentality or fear. We don't want that just because we're waiting. Be patient, 
Remember, this is all that you want. This is a very exciting time for you and you will be victorious because everything you're touching, everything you turn your attention to is working out really, really well. And you've got the angels behind you. Well, I hope that helped you, Taurus. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you next time.